Hello! It's not sunny, it's raining, but I feel like sunglasses indoors just kind of reinforce my wishful thinking about the nice weather. It's a weekend vlog, which means I don't have to get up early or wear proper clothes or get out of my bed. The day's fantastic. So yeah, kind of ignore this. So the first thing I want to mention is the Python course which was only for girls and which was organized by Code First Girls. It's just the thing that I found out on the internet that was running in Cambridge. There were eight sessions and they took all the girls from all the different backgrounds. I think I was the only Komsky there. Others were like biologists or engineers, uh, musicians, like all sorts of people. At first we learned some basics that like anyone can learn from Code Academy, which I recommend. And we didn't even get to the OOP stuff which was really sad. I didn't learn much but we still uh, had some fun doing some cool stuff with Tutor API like sending messages from the terminal or like writing a mass email to people from like fake email so I could have written anything like obama at whitehouse.com like anything that was fun. Just got this email saying that I am on a Python course that I applied for. They'll have I don't know how many sessions, let's see, eight, well, yeah, obviously once per week, two hours every Wednesday. Not many people applied and it's gonna be from next Wednesday, so we'll see how that goes. Python is amazing and I'm really sad that it's not on our course at the university. In one of the lectures, we were told that Tony Hoare would come and be like a guest lecturer. The problem with Cambridge is that apparently we are supposed to have guest lecturers, it's just that not everyone wants to come. And so many famous people graduated from Cambridge that they will eventually come back at some point. So I know we should all feel very excited about everything, but it's like they're just around sometimes. You just kind of see them and it becomes like a, a normal thing. With Tony Hoare it was a bit different because literally I did not get this hype because I didn't know anything about him. I've heard about horror logic but then I didn't research it any further. So I knew he was like a big guy. I didn't know anything about quicksword. It was just okay some cool guy's gonna come. Great. But when he did come it was kind of cool and I don't understand why I didn't record much. Maybe because I was like oh, wow. So he did give a lecture on quicksword, answer some questions and it's the only thing that I could record. Just for you to see his face. It is now almost time to go to my Python thing. It's in St. John's College and I'll have to find this building, so I better go now. So that the energy differences get smaller. And if I actually make a whole set of solutions of this. After all these physics demonstrations, you probably think that this lecture was amazing. And then I started hearing all these bad opinions about him from other Natskis. 
and I thought, what's wrong with him? And I started noticing all the typos. Now, you'd think that typos in handouts are not that important. They are, especially if a topic is new to you and a person is making a mistake like, what? How am I supposed to learn something if you're making a mistake? Same goes to an exercise sheet that he gives for supervision. So technically, those nice demonstrations were the only thing that was worth filming. I don't think you could see it, but the clapping wasn't as loud. Like, after certain lectures finished their course, you could see how everyone in the room just like... Because they love it. This one was like... Yeah, thanks. Also, after him came another lecture, which I absolutely adore. I think she was the best. Because the first lessons that she ever started with us went like this. It's gonna make the world a better place. Uh, as you know, if you have watched enough uh, uh, movies and cartoons, uh, with great power comes great responsibility. So, uh, I, it was a pleasure for me to teach you in this first part of the course. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The lecture is finished because the term is eight weeks, but the physics courses were only four weeks, so we were jumping on to another person. The same was with computer science. We were finishing algorithms with one person and then continuing algorithms with another person. That's why it all looked as if they were like saying goodbye and all. I know this vlog hasn't been full of new information, but I'm trying to cover as much as possible. And I think we're now around beginning of February. So that's exciting. The next one will be short as well. So I'm not saying bye. Stay tuned and watch another one.